Yeah, what's going on people? You know, I received a very interesting insight in the comment section of my last video and uh, what I'm gonna do right here is quickly read it out for you. So, basically what they said was, I'm 22 now, started balding around 19 they say. The state of my hair is almost the same as yours, maybe even worse. Usually I shave my head, but sometimes I let the remaining hair grow to middle length. As I can see, being bald or having very short hair is not a real problem. The real problem is that you have no choice. You cannot choose what kind of haircut you'd like to have. Even if you look best with a shaved head, you still tend to miss the opportunity to style your hair in any way you want. I think the core problem is the loss of control over your life. It is quite painful for men. And you know what? <laughs> I actually agree. Although for myself, I'm very confident in being a man with a shaved head, but it's true, you can tend to miss having a choice. It's like a few months back, if you go back to my older videos, I basically chose to stop shaving my head for a while. And the reason I did this was because I was curious to see how much my hair loss had actually progressed and whether or not I'd ever be able to go back to rocking a head of hair again. However, by this point, my hair loss had greatly declined and I realized I would never be able to go back. Which is fine with me because I'm content with this look, but I can understand where others are coming from. You know, when you've got that perfect head of hair, you've got a million styles and choices at your disposal. You're in complete control of your appearance and with that, more confidence as well. And I can just imagine for some guys, to have that control taken away, it can almost feel like you've lost control of your entire life. And right now, I'm just gonna say it like it is. The harsh reality of the situation is yes, we are losing control. And I'm not saying that to put anyone down, but I'm saying it to awaken you. Life is a game of losses. Even when we enter our lives as babies, we enter with no control. No control of our bladders, no control of our bodies, our emotions. We're totally dependent on others because we have no choice in the matter. And ironically, we exit our lives in the same fashion. In this life of losses, hair loss is truly the tip of the iceberg. One day we'll lose bladder control. One day we're gonna have no choice of when we shit ourselves. One day, we're going to realize we cannot control who accepts us. One day we're going to realize we cannot control who leaves us. We have much harsher realities that we are going to have to accept that are bigger than hair loss. It is truly the tip of the iceberg. So my advice if you're struggling with this mentality, this realization of losing control, the best thing you can do for yourself, see it how it is. Be a realist. You have to put a positive spin on things and say, you know what, I have lost control. I do have no choice. But you will always have a choice in how you choose to react to the situation. And you know what? This isn't an easy mentality to develop. So before you comment and say, Ricky, it's easy for you to say that, just know that even I struggle with it. Yes, I do have my doubts, my fears, my anxieties, but I don't dwell on them forever. Eventually, you gotta learn to look at the shit you don't have control of and say, that's fine. But that other shit, making my money, raising a family, following the dreams that I have in life, that's all on me. That is something that I am in control of. Too much attention gets given to the shit that we've got no control of, but why not take control of the other shit. I think sometimes when you're in that place, like with hair loss, when you lose control of it, it can tend to feel like you've lost control of every aspect of your life. And what happens then? That doubtfulness begins to spread. You start to see shit that is there for the taking in life and start to feel as if you've got no control of that either. Wake up! and give up on the idea that we're meant to have control of everything because that isn't life. Like I said, life is a game of losses. So make the most of the few opportunities you're going to get to win. In this case, that would be not looking at hair loss as I have no choice. Nah. You look at yourself dead in the mirror and you say, I don't need no other choice. There's people out there who have no choice whether they can walk, jump, talk, see, feel, think. So as far as hair loss goes, just realize this. It is a small price to pay. But it doesn't mean for a second that we have no choice in how fulfilling and happy we can be in our lives. That is something that is purely based on your perception. Count your blessings and focus on the shit that you do have control of. End of story.